Hello. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Welcome to the Sylph. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. Well, no time for pleasantries. I've got your gear right here, but let's see if you can follow instructions. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Customers and risks can enter and exit the area. I get your gear ready. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run of the mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. Who knows? You might attract a high roller from the Wrangler over there and never have to pull a gig like this again. Settle in. You've got some hours left before your shift ends. Mm. 
Here comes the plan. I'll let you handle this. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Another one coming. You're on. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? I suppose it's all right if there's no other choice. He's clean. See? Told you so. Looks like that guy is headed this way. Don't screw it up. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Stop hey! it! What in the hell do you suppose that was about? Help me clean this up. No one's going to want to shop here with the corpse out front. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, buddy. Things are about to get interesting. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. You can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady Anna. You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you?
I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with. Assuming you're still interested in making some money. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? 
Do you have what we requested? Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Evening. We've already concluded our business. I suggest you return to your employers. Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her, bring her here, so I can talk to her, one-on-one. -on -one. Really, NCR all around her. Well, tell you what, you find a way to bring her here. She'll want to hear what I have to say. I got business here. Need to watch the shop, make sure things are running smoothly. Besides, if I came for the girl, I'm not all friendly and charming like you are. She might get the wrong idea. If your answer isn't, yes, I'll bring her here, or no, I won't, because Gloria had me pegged wrong, then we're done here. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind?
Jean Baptiste. Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. So who is this Baptiste, and what does he want? The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff, and I don't know her all that well. Nor do I want to. Don't have any objections speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs, he should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. What's on your mind? <sighs> That's the question I've been asking myself. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Where? Like Vegas? Chewed and spit enough friends out. East? Get put in one of Caesar's little camps? No thanks. Head back west? I already know the big circle and everyone in it, so now I go back there, ruined. Never really realized how small the Mojave is getting nowadays. Hard to find a place to go that's worthwhile. You got one too many by my count. You take care now. What's up? Why does everyone always say that? Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Don't know. Not sure where to head next. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Gla the outpost behind. Hello. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Got word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. Ask them, then. Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. 
came from Dad. You know, like one of the tribes from the East. We got them out West, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his bedroom behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twister's out of the Divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. Ask him then. Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. Used to call me Whiskey Rose back west before I punched enough people, so now they say it, but quiet and when I'm not around. Yeah on account of my name, and the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. Yeah, what else are you gonna do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself? Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. All right then. Things are getting stranger every day. Background? Just my luck. What'll it be this time? Take a look. Take a look. Fine, then. Inside the Lucky 38? I'm not sure whether that's a blessing or a curse. Ask him, then. I'm fair with chucking dynamite, not bad with a pistol, if I do say so myself. 
carry a knife, too, but that's more for practical reasons. Prefer settling things with my fists, though. Made more friends than corpses in bar fights. Plan on keeping it that way. Don't think I'm some kind of Vault City pacifist, though. If things get heated, I'll start shooting. Trust me. Ask him. Started? Took to it like a fish to water. Well, if you know what a fish is. Actually, it sort of fell on me. My feet get antsy if I stay in one place, like the Mojave Outpost. It was driving me crazy, that feeling of being trapped there. So thanks for that. Yeah, west, east, and pass through places enough times people would sometimes pay me some caps to take something to the next town. Well, not as glamorous, I guess. Roads back west were safer in most places. Most. Anyway, occurred to me I could scratch the traveling itch and get paid for it. Cassidy caravans formed around me. Rest is history. Ask him then. Well, I'm not one for soft living. Or soft men, let me tell you. I'm guessing neither are you. What? Oh. Damn. No offense meant. Sometimes I get so drunk, I don't care who I share a bed with, so that's fine with me. My point before is that you know the Mojave, and it's a hard place. The caravan fighting here in the Mojave, it's been downright brutal. The amount of caravan space you reserve for ammo alone and if it's not raiders, powder gangers, it's NCR tolls. They need to get the money from somewhere, even if it's Vegas bound. Anyone wise does. Vegas families pay on time, from what I've heard. Even the Omeritas. The white gloves pay on time, but they're creepy. Deal with anyone else, though. You're taking a big risk. The Legion? What about them? I don't trade caps or supply anyone who keeps slaves and treats women like Brahmin in those camps of theirs. There's some caravans that deal with a legion, yes. And as much as it pains me to say it, any caravan marked by the legion is safe as houses. They guard their roads, their supply lines, even fiends would hesitate before going after any traitor dealing with Legion. I am. If NCR took the same stand and committed patrols to the roads, then I'd think that'd solve a lot of their problems right there. But they don't. Caravans get butchered in the Mojave all the time, like mine. And so fucking close to Vegas you could see it from the wall. NCR tries. It's just that trying doesn't mean a whole lot when you're paying your respects to the dead. And Legion, from what I've heard, they don't do the stop tolls on the roads or in the outposts like some NCR quartermasters do. You're lucky if you turn a profit sometimes if some new officer gets assigned a route, the fees just get worse. Much as I hate the Legion, caravan life would be a hell of a lot easier if they ran the roads. Well, as long as those companies were run by men, and that's the biggest issue I see. And it's a shame, but I think there's people on the NCR side who feel more strongly than I do. Some caravans deal with the Legion now because the security. If towns could get the same protection, a lot more tempting than you'd think. A bunch of people would be willing to side with the Legion to not have to worry about fiends and boomers and powder ganger attacks. It's not hard for some folks to sell freedom when the alternative is worse. Especially if being with NCR is going to get you on a Legion cross. Ask him then.
Don't have all the ingredients you need. Come back when you have them, and I'd be happy to get something cooking. All right, then. This courier doing shit around the strip? Like what? Delivering mail? God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan had been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Yeah, it's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? All right then, let's move out.
More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. All right, then. Let's move out. Another caravan burned, except someone made camp here, and I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. All right. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm gonna start shooting, no matter what you find. All right, then. You find any evidence yet? I'm not gonna wait forever. I held off on filling them full of holes. So unless you give me a good reason to cool my heels soon, I'm not waiting much longer. All right, then. <laughs> 